The Red Rim Daily Wildlife Habitat Management Area covers roughly 50 square miles of high desert terrain in south central Wyoming. This is the winter range for 300 to 800 elk that are part of the Sierra Madre herd, a group of roughly 8,000 animals that migrate across the Colorado Wyoming border. In early 2004, Red Rim became the site of a medical mystery that lingers to this day. In February 2004, the Wyoming Game and Fish Department began receiving alarming reports of elk found struggling on the ground, unable to walk. The department's Kent Schmidlin explains. They, uh, they, they appear rather healthy, alert, aware of what's going on, but they're just not able to get up on their, on their feet and, and move. Elk too weak to jump fences were found entangled in wire. Unable to run, some were eaten alive by coyotes, some died of starvation and dehydration. Scores were mercifully euthanized. Game managers and biologists searched Red Rim for afflicted animals. They gathered several dead and dying elk to transport to the Wyoming State Veterinary Laboratory in Laramie. Their biologists and toxicologists conducted necropsies and administered treatments to try to determine the cause of the mysterious illness. Blindfolded and bound to protect both the elk and their handlers, some animals were loaded onto trailers and driven out through the heavy snow. Some were even placed in slings and hauled by helicopter to spots that were accessible by truck. Animals at the lab received intravenous antibiotics, hydrating fluids, vitamins, and many other compounds in the search for clues to the cause of the illness. Researchers tested Red Rim's soil and water, as well as tissue samples from elk necropsies. They ruled out dozens of possible causes, including botulism, poisoning, parasites, and bacterial and viral infections. Here's veterinary biologist Walt Cook. We don't have a, uh, a magic screening test for, for toxins that you just submit a blood sample and it just tells you what toxin it is. You have to go through each potential toxin by itself. And so what, what they did here at the State Veterinary Laboratory is they, they started with the most common toxins and they started testing for those, the, the, the things that we would, were most suspicious of, and they basically ruled those ones out at this point in time. So now we're looking for the more bizarre things that are out there. And since there's just literally thousands of potential toxins that, that could be doing this, uh, it's going to take a, a very long time to, to sort through those. I would say this is quite frustrating. We've never had a, a die-off like this uh, as long as I've been in, in working for the department. Tumbleweed shield lichen, which covers much of Red Rim, was found in large amounts in the stomachs of dead elk. So wardens gathered roughly 100 pounds of the lichen for use in a feeding trial with healthy animals. So f purposefully fed some of this lichen to some research animals that we had. And uh, we fed it to three different research animals. And after a week of being on this lichen diet, they were on a 100% lichen diet. Uh, one of those animals went down and exhibited signs uh, virtually identical to what we saw in the field. But we're, we're you know, 90 plus percent sure at this point that it is the lichen. Roughly 500 elk may have died at Red Rim in 2004. Nearly 100 more died in 2008. Biologists still don't know which toxin in the lichen cripples elk, or even whether it's a muscular or a nerve toxin. They're still looking for answers.